It is a small victory uh, for the Crumblies and their defense attorneys who have been pushing hard. Uh, the Court of Appeals now has a big decision to make. Uh, they'll have to really get at the root of this case, and that is if involuntary manslaughter charges are fitting in the eyes of the law, if there is enough evidence to support those charges. They will have the power to potentially dismiss the case altogether, but before we even get there, they have to take a deep dive into the case to again see if there is enough evidence. Just a day before the one year mark of the tragedy in Oxford, the Michigan Supreme Court has spoken, ordering the State Court of Appeals to take another look at the manslaughter charges against James and Jennifer Crumbly. It is a victory to the extent that someone didn't say no. Todd Perkins, a trial lawyer unrelated to this case, says the defense can claim a small win here. In September, the Court of Appeals denied Crumbly's attorney's request for a stay, which would have stopped the case from moving to trial. It says to me that you have a court, a Supreme Court, that's taken a proactive step into trying to resolve an issue that typically comes up on appeal after a case is over with. Typically, Perkins and other legal analysts say you see an appeal like this after trial. The implications of this case are vast, and I think that's one of the reasons why you get a response that, in this case, that you might not otherwise get. Oakland County Prosecutor Kara McDonald initially sought the four manslaughter charges against the Crumbleys, saying they were grossly negligent in buying their son a gun that he used in the murders, while ignoring his wavering mental health and pleas for help. Last month, McDonald said this is the only similar case where manslaughter charges stuck. In trials scheduled for January, now delayed. The Court of Appeals can dismiss the case or not. Then McDonald's team has to convince a jury they're guilty of manslaughter for murders their son committed. To do things different and to do and go against the grain, you have to have courage. And, and I got to say, they do have a lot of courage. Now, there is a gag order put in place by the courts for both the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office and defense attorneys, so they really couldn't weigh in on this decision today. But interesting moving forward and really an uphill battle for the prosecutor's office. She knew that kind of from the beginning, going out on a limb to, uh, to seek manslaughter charges. So we'll have to see uh, what the Court of Appeals will decide on this. Now, the attorney we talked to, Todd Perkins, in the story of the defense attorney, he says he thinks the Court of Appeals will fast track this decision, but nonetheless, that January trial date for James and Jennifer Crumley will be delayed. Reporting live, Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 News. Well, Jessica, we know there are still a lot of civil cases out there. Could this have an impact on those at this point? Yeah, so really this delays everything in a, any situation that James and Jennifer are named in the lawsuit. For example, uh, Jeffrey Figer's case, he's representing several victims. He purposely did not put James and Jennifer Crumbly in those documents because he was worried about a delay. But any other civil suits, this definitely puts everything on hold. Certainly an unusual move. Jessica Dubnik reporting live for us. Thank you.